Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 31st of January 2023 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates as always. So what do we have for our lovely Geminis? Thank you for the day. Angel Spirits Guide, message for Gemini for the day. Thank you. Card has fallen. We have acceptance. You know, acceptance energy can help us move forward. So let's see what we have. What do we have for Gemini, please? Message for Gemini, thank you. Accepting something, what do we have for Gemini? Message for Gemini, thank you for the day. We have judgment. The magician. Your ruler, that's Mercury. With the nine of wands. And we have the six of cups. So a Six of Cups can be a soul connection. It can also be friend or family member, you know, somebody who's been in our life for a while. We've got history, we've got nostalgia, we've got memories here. This Nine of Wands energy, it can represent when we've been tested and challenged in some way. And there's a significant choice or decision to make here, Gemini. Do I give this person another chance or do I move in a brand new direction? But it's karmic, a choice or a decision that you make will stay with you for quite some time, if not permanently. It looks like you have the power. The energy with the magician is the magician is the person who understands what they choose to manifest and what they don't. So this is, is it transformable? Can we transform this? It looks like you're at that point here where there may well be a level of acceptance in whichever way you're going to go with this. And that's what I'm seeing here, whether it's accepting an apology or accepting it is what it is. You know, let's see what we have for you. So let's pull a card for the acceptance card, please, for Gemini to get a little bit more information for this reading for you. What do we have for Gemini? The Six of Wands. Yeah, the Ace of Swords can be about seeing the truth of a situation for what it is and moving on. Yeah, we've got the Death card underneath that. This just looks like you're choosing to move on from a situation because you see things for what they are, not necessarily how you want them to be, but what they are. But there's victory in that. I mean, we have two cards of victory with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. It's how you overcome the challenge here. The death card is really when, when we're ready, when we're ready to say, I'm ready to shed an old skin. I'm ready to release from things or people or situations that don't serve me. It's a card of out with the old, in with the new. Uh, it's what I'm seeing here, Gemini, you know, ready for that like new renewal, rebirth, new start, this kind of energy here. It might well be that you've given this person or this place or this situation one too many chances and this is just like, yeah, I'm doing something differently this time. The Six of Cups can be, like I said, a, a place or people or person that we've got history with and nostalgia with. So this could be, this can be a place of work that you've been with a significant amount of time. It can be a, a soul connection, soulmate energy, um, friendship, family, but it represents that you have, they've been in your life a while. However, there's just a feeling here, you're at the end of something, you're near the end of something where you're just like, actually, I don't know if I want to go on anymore because I've just been tested one too many times. It looks like the energy here of, in the reading, the acceptance part is seeing the truth for what it is and moving on because that's how you overcome the issue, is to end something, draw a line under it and embrace change. It's in response to what you've experienced, people's actions towards you or a place or an experience that you've gone through. But this just feels like, yeah, I'm, looks like you're making a different choice. 
Okay, Gemini, that's what I have for you. Just trying to find the fairy cards. I'm sure these move around. <laughs> I looked at the other table and I was thinking, I'm sure I didn't put you on there. <laughs> anyway, final message for Gemini. Thank you. We have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate an invitation to go out, dance and play. Oh, it's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. Sorry, the light was catching that. So we have celebration. I mean, this just feels like, yeah, you finally finished or you deal with a situation and feel positive that you've, you've come down on one side, that you can see change happening for you. I'm going to pull you one more card with that. In a child, which is fun energy, it's happy energy, we have the fairies of playfulness remind you to make the time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps his young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. There could also be children involved in this too. And that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.